Morning, Speaker. Uh, my question is for the Premier. The federal government asked the provinces to have a vaccine rollout plan ready in December. It's now the end of February and the government announced a plan this morning. But essential workers in vulnerable workplaces where most of the outbreaks are currently happening still don't know when and how they will get vaccinated. This morning, General Hillier said that that would be figured out in May. Speaker, earlier today in question period, the Premier said, I'm standing up for workers. So if that is the case, can he please tell essential workers in vulnerable workplaces when and how they will be vaccinated? The government house leader to respond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. As, uh, as the member uh, knows, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the initial thrust, uh, phase one of, uh, of the plan, uh, which was introduced uh, weeks ago, was to uh, ensure that congregate care settings, long-term care homes, retirement uh, uh, homes, uh, hospital workers, uh, and those working in in, in, in high-risk areas were uh, were vaccinated. Uh, as you know. Uh, uh, as well, Speaker, uh, that uh, that program was a success. It was uh, there was some setbacks when the federal government was unable to uh, uh, provide the vaccines that it had guaranteed uh, not only the province of Ontario but uh, uh, other provinces as well. As you know, uh, for weeks shipments uh, were either delayed or, or stopped entirely. Uh, but having said that, uh, the member is, uh, is incorrect in one sense. Uh, we, we have focused on those settings, and the results have been, uh, have been encouraging. Uh, that has been phase one. Phase two, as we, as we mentioned, will start to move to uh, uh, those of Response. Uh, 80 years uh, and, and older, Mr. Speaker. There is a plan in place leveraged by 34 public health units, uh, and we are just missing uh, 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 the vaccines right now, but I'm, I'm optimistic that the federal government will live up to those obligations in the future. Thank you. Thank you. And the supplementary question. Yes, yeah, Speaker, it's not just essential workers, it's all Ontarians still a bit confused about the plan. And it is true that the federal government has been delayed in making vaccines available to all provinces. But with all due respect, Speaker, the bottom line is that right now, Ontario is behind other provinces in launching the online booking portal. We are behind other provinces in vaccinating elderly residents in community. And we are also behind other provinces in the percentage of overall population that is currently vaccinated. So I'm just asking with all due respect, can the government explain to us why Ontario is behind other provinces Question. in vaccinations and what our plan is for catching up? Again, the government house leader to respond. Uh, first and foremost, the, the, the first part of, uh, of the plan is to receive vaccines. Uh, once uh, uh, a significant uh, and consistent uh, uh, delivery of vaccines is made available to the province of Ontario and to other jurisdictions, uh, those parts of the plan uh, will be implemented. As you know, Mr. Speaker, the plan was uh, uh, many months ago, the plan was brought forward. Uh, it uh, leveraged the 34 public health units across, uh, across the province of Ontario. I'm, I'm, I'm confident that the member opposite would expect that. I know that the member opposite uh, uh, can appreciate how different every part of the province uh, is we focused the initial thrust on uh, on uh, on congregate care settings in high risk areas uh, be it retirement homes uh, long term care homes uh, our medical professionals those working in those uh, in those uh, environments Mr. Speaker. Uh, we made sure that everybody who received a first dose could get a second dose which was very important mr speaker given the fact that we did see a massive delay in deliveries uh, uh, through the federal government's inability to, to give it thank you 